So, level one, and welcome to a part that will make me want to hate myself. No, I will not want it, I will hate myself. So, first off, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna try and fight the boss from the co op area of the third DLC. Which is probably gonna be the hardest bit of this entire Let's Play. So, yeah, this is not gonna be nice. And I might die a lot. And if I die late in the co-op area, I will cut the run back. Because the run back is really dumb on that place. So, but first off, in order to even get to the co-op area, we're gonna have to do some stuff. And in order to get there, we're gonna have to get a key. But good thing is I know where the key is. So, it's not gonna be some searching around like for the uh, other area. Oh my god, how do you cast from that place? So, it's gonna be faster than that. So, die. Wow. I hate these guys. So, what we're gonna have to do right now is, in order to get that key, we're gonna have to go through all of this. Pretty much up until the next bonfire. But I'm gonna run through it after this part. It's just, I just took out the enemies there because they like to block you and I don't like getting blocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all of this as much as possible. If I have to fight because something blocks me, then I'll just do that. And apart from that, try and get through here as fast as possible so I can make it to the next bonfire. And, but before the next bonfire, I have to take a different path. Now, why don't I just run to the next bonfire and just walk backwards? That's because right before that bonfire, there's a bit of a cliff you walk down. And you can't walk back up that. So that's the problem. And this is why you're gonna have to go through all of this. And those are some really interesting dodges, I have to say. But at least the way back isn't that hard, I would say. You have to take up this guy. I don't have to, but I want to. Oh, by the way, also, I bought a shit ton of life gems, but that's about it. I actually forgot I had these waters in my inventory, which do heal you, but I forgot they do heal you, so I never actually used them. What? I wanted to strong attack. Who would have actually gotten me? Yeah, like that. Because I'm going to use one right now. And it does heal you, but not quite a lot. Okay, so I really did think I did... I think I did have to take out the one guy downstairs. Because he would have probably followed me. So yeah, you have to take out those guys or else you can't open the store. Because they'll just interrupt you. You probably can do it without, but... I just don't want to bother with that. She almost backstabbed me, actually. And yes, they will backstab you. <sighs> I like that move. And that backstab actually hurts like fuck. At least the normal attack doesn't hurt. So, in this place, if you go down here, you jump down there and the bonfire is there, but we don't want to do that because we want to do the special stuff. So we go over here, we're going to have to go through it, some new area. There's a whole lot of other stuff in this area. But first off, we want to go over here. This is not the right area, but actually, I still want to go over here. Just because I haven't showed this before. So yeah, it's not the area to keep, but it's right next to this one. So let me just go through here and get this item. If you, if you don't see this guy while picking this up, you're gonna be in a more place. Now this, actually this item, the old bell helm, basically the I this item is just you put a bell on your helm, uh, you put a bell on your head. Where is it? Did I miss it? This one. And the cool thing about the bell helm is, if you get hit by an arrow in the head, it will actually ring the bell. Which is really fucking awesome, in my opinion. So, yeah, this is not quite the place, but it's really close to here. It's this place over here. <laughs> like I said. So, in order to do stuff over here, first off, the ice is gonna... The ice is gonna have to be gone, so we can't do this before killing the first boss and talking to the queen thingy. And you need some fire, which I have plenty of. Yay. So you let these four sconches, which I think is a cool word by the way, sconch. And in there is gonna be where the cool stuff is. 
Now my stuff is about to break and I don't want to use some other stuff because I might need that for the next boss, my three healing powders and I didn't actually buy new healing powders. Uh, not healing powders, repair powders. So I'm just going <coughs> sorry, I'm just gonna do this and switch to these weapons. Bonefist, by the way, was pretty cool, which basically turns you into a Street Fighter character. More importantly, these. Kill all these. You don't have to kill these, but I want to kill all these. Because they're going to have to fight another guy. Oh, God. Wow. The fucking Death Screams, man. Makes you feel really right bad about these. Okay, just... No, oh, that was really close. I gambled there. I should have actually just taken the hit in the face so it doesn't backstab me. Now, because of these guys, yeah, that's flex size damage to me. But with my weapons, they're actually not that tough. The problem is, the area is really weird for these guys. Oh, I'm just gonna kill them. Oh, yeah, do that. Yay. I think what I'm going to try and do with the next DLC area, uh, with what am I saying? Next DLC area with the next area in general with the co-op. I'm going to just I'm going to like only use life gems to get to the boss, and once I'm at the boss, I use either bigger life gems or just well my ass is fast because this is one of those boss fights where you don't really have time to heal or anything if the boss fixates on you. Now, granted, he might be attacking your friendly dudes, in which case you have plenty of time. Oh, how did that hit me? But if he doesn't do that, if he doesn't do it, if he does not do that and actually focuses on trying to kill you, then you won't really have time to heal at all, so that's something to worry about. This fucking turnaround is so strong. Okay, so that's the item we need, right over here. The garrison ward key. Now we're gonna have to do some more walking through some odd places, because in order to get to that place that we're gonna unlock now, we're gonna have to do some more walking through some other place. But as soon as we get there, we're home free for the boss. Yeah. Now I think this, to get there, it's faster to go to... Is it this wall? No, it's not that wall, it's this wall. The one we would've just jumped down to. So it's... It's still faster to just take aged feather and then travel to this one, I think, unless you're playing on console, in which case the loading time is going to be really fucking long. But on PC, the loading time is really short, so you can just do that in order to save time. So what we're going to have to do is not get hit by this guy. Never want to get hit by this guy. And then just keep walking. Hmm. When I get to the outer wall, uh, well, to the upper place of the outer wall, which should be somewhere around out there, but not quite sure exactly where, because there's multiple parts out there. Whoa. What day is my turn? Not today. Also, I guess I might change now. Making sure. Yeah, okay, this is the place over there. Haha, <laughs> not this time, dude. These guys only stand up once you're close enough to the guy. Oh yeah, I survived that, but not anymore. But if you can kill the guy fast enough, then they're really not doing anything. Oh my god, I can already see the... Uh, I don't want to so yeah, this guy is coming up. It's coming up, it's Bon is two of the most dumbest things in this game. One is the co-op area. The other is the boss to the co-op area. Now, the area itself, the idea behind the area is pretty cool. Like, on, like, looking at it just in theory, this place is really cool, the frigid outskirts. But the problem is that just, in theory, and actually a good place, Sadly, it's not simple, and the problem is, well, gameplay-wise, just gameplay-wise, this area is so incredibly dumb. This area should just, like, go home 
and then stay home forever, gameplay wise. But that's that's what we're gonna have to worry about now. Getting through this area, because it's really fucking dumb when playing. But oh my god, is the idea cool? I didn't aggro anything, nice. Basically the idea behind this place is that it just cycles between snowstorm and no storm. And when you're in snowstorm, random enemies can appear all around you. And these enemies, they don't fuck around, they're actually pretty powerful. They're like unicorn things that can shoot magic at you and they're as soon as they charge at you, it's already pretty hard to dodge the charge. And then it's hard to dodge the magic and all the other shit. And it deals a lot of damage and it's really dumb to fight them. And you can't really see anything. So it's really dumb in that regards. So, this is gonna take, it's gonna be really dumb. But you want, ah, I tried to dodge, but like I said, it's really hard to dodge them. And then they fly and do other stuff. Okay, I dodged the charge. And they actually have quite a bit of health. Ow. Dodge, okay. Running ahead is not that advised because you're just gonna aggro more of these, but as soon as it's safe, you can just keep running. Even if there's still a guy on your tail, just fucking run, because no more guys will spawn. So, as soon as you reach- and also, if you're close to ruins, also no more guys will spawn. They don't despawn, but at least no more will spawn, so that's good. Problem is, he's over there now doing weird shit. Also, there's guys in the ruins that can be annoying depending on what happens, but most of the time, still alright. The fuck is that guy? My, my friend is here, but I don't know where they are. Also, where are these enemies? These guys. These aren't the guys I was thinking of. Okay, that, this is the guy I was fighting. Wow, I couldn't have dodged him. And also something to keep in mind, you can use this, it's actually friendly, and what this does, it puts some water down, and it's hot water, and if you, if you look at my health, it's actually healing water, it heals you, which is pretty cool. So you can use this uh, as a healing without having to worry about all the stuff that comes with usual healing, as in using up life gems or other stuff. And I've got no fucking idea where my guys, where my other guy is gone. He was like behind me, but he's no longer anymore. I don't even know. Now I'm gonna wait here because no guys spawn here, and I want to get as fast as uh, far as possible before guys spawn. So that's cool. There we go. Go over there next. As you can see, there's also other enemies around here: some night dudes and some regular hollows. And together with the horsey dudes, they can be quite annoying. I think the best way to dodge the horses charge as soon as they come is just walk backwards as soon as you hear them spawn. Because if you keep walking, I don't know if you can fight them, but they might not always do a sound, so it's really hard. Oh, he didn't charge this time, what the fuck? Oh, he charged. Even if you go like, I'm close to you, don't charge. He still charges you. And he charges again. He like, this fucking, this charge is easily, or uh, is you get one attack that you can dodge the hardest, and he's it's also one he spams all the fucking time. So thank you for nothing. Oh my guy is back, the other one. Like I think these horses, they play sort of like a player where they know like, oh I know I have a good attack, so let me spam it a lot. No matter how fucking dumb that is. It's powerful, I'm spamming it, fuck you. And you, because the thing is, usually you're like, oh, they only do it if I'm close or something. Nope, they just jump back and then do it. Get down. Now, the next bit is, I think, the hardest part, and I'm gonna take this. Okay, because I need to go over there to the left. It's hard to see, but there's a place where you can go downwards. We can go into some valley. I need to get there from the left, from this place. I think I'm almost there, actually. Yeah, there it is. Now, I think more stuff can spawn here, and I can't actually see the place. Yep, there we go. More stuff spawning. Get down here. 
He's always so far away and then he just does the fucking charge thing. Fuck you. Get down. You're not doing that again. I have another one spawned so I'm not gonna fight him I think. Cause I need to get through here. Okay, I don't wanna do this with... The stuff like this. I'm gonna wait and now go for it. I don't wanna do this like that. Also a great area for uh, PvP. This tiny bridge, because someone's gonna fall off at some point. If you actually manage to do PvP boss, uh, PvP fight here without anyone falling off, great. And I don't mean falling off as in uh, you're just really dumb and randomly roll off the edge, but rather you get knocked off the edge. It's really easy to do here. So we've done the, the this part of this entire thing. Oh my god! Fuck it, go in. This was one of the parts. I wouldn't say it's the easy part, nor was the or or it was the hard part. It was just a part because this part is pretty much equally as challenging. Because fuck this guy. It's one of these guys again, Lord, the King's pet. Problem is, you can always see him up there. There's two of them. Not right now, but there's gonna be two of them. So have fun with that. As soon as that happens, which is gonna be around 50 health. And these guys, if they want to... Oh, he's already coming! He's not supposed to come yet! 50% 50 health, dude! 50% health! That's not 50% health! Fuck you guys! Why is he here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think he comes... Actually, I think he comes sooner if you have friends with you. Oh my god, this is gonna be really dumb. And one of these guys has an enrage mode, not the other one, just one of these guys. Oh my god, they keep jumping. Guys! These to take a lot of damage, but my aim is not that great today. Oh, you want it? No, not this one. I hate these guys. Oh my god. Ah. Do your worst! He did his worst! Ow! I, I saw that coming, but it was too late. I think I have time for this. Oh no! I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to get this guy down. Oh, I'm gonna get hit here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, it didn't shoot at me. Nice. Ow. Oh, it didn't work. It worked. Die. Oh, I got one of them down. Okay, but the other guy is the more powerful one because this guy has an enrage as soon as he reaches low HP. And this his enrage can fuck you up really easily if he wants to. So don't think because one of the guys is down it's easier because the second guy is a lot harder and he can fuck you up really easily. <sighs> this fight always gets my blood pumping, at least that's a good thing about this. Okay, get one more hit in. Then I won't gonna die. Rank. Okay, he's not attacking me. Good thing is I still got all my guys here, which barely ever happens. They either fall off the cliff in front of the area or they die somewhere. But that didn't happen, so that's cool. That's good. Oh, that's just enrage. He's also healing during it, so it's like I think the most people say just if you're alone, don't bother attacking him. Just fucking go somewhere else. Uh, so that's something. So yeah, be really fucking cautious. Okay, don't aim at me, please. Good. Okay, he's aiming at me now. Oh, that was. Weird timing is somewhere work though. Just survive it. It ends after a specific time. Just survive it while not taking too much damage. And if you can if you can deal damage to him, great, but don't bank on it. Just survive. Take this! Oh that's bad, he's gonna turn around. No, he's just doing this. <gasps> I don't wanna get hit by that. My guys are still doing great. Oh, it's over! Nice! I survived it, guys. Oh my god. Is that aimed at me? It might be. I wasn't. Okay. <sighs> Die! Oh my god! <sighs> it's it's not hard, this fight. It's, it's not that hard. But it's just so easy to get wrecked. And you don't want to get wrecked. Because... This area in front of this fight is just so dumb. It's like you don't want to do the area again. You don't want to have to go through the fucking winter place again. You just want to be done with it. And this fight can fuck you up so easily. So, so you don't want to get fucked over. Oh my god. 
And you still have to say about the scope area, it's one of those areas that get your blood pumping and it actually makes you feel like, oh my god, I don't want to die. But gameplay wise, it's really dumb. <laughs> because, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I just don't like playing through it, but whenever I'm. This, I think, actually, I do have to say about this area, you don't want to play through it because it can fuck you up so easily and then you have to go through all this place again. But it's also one of those areas that even if you've done it a bunch and you've gotten through it, as soon as you've gotten through it, you just feel so relieved. You just feel like, oh my god, I just did that. I'm so happy I don't have to do that anymore. And I think that's one of those things that not many things in Dark Souls can do to you. Like even the hardest bosses, once you've beaten them like once or twice, like third time or something, you go like, ah, whatever, it's just this boss, whatever, I just beat him. Nothing special. But this is one of those areas that every single time like, gets me really happy once I've done it. And that's really cool. And it's only one this area that can do it. So, that was that's just really great. So, one last level. I'm actually gonna do it and put in like faith or something because I need more fire and lightning, not lightning, magic. Wait, I wanna put in intelligence. Because I want more fire and lightning attack. Not fire, not fire and... Fire and magic, yeah, that's the one. Fire and magic for my spider sword, so yeah. So, that was that. Next time, I'm gonna have to take multiple parts, because I'm gonna have to... Because the way to the next boss, the last boss in the entire game, by the way, that I haven't fought yet, it's gonna take a while. So, see you next time, guys.